Hey everybody, Jeremy with Karma Event Lighting here. Uh, I just had a little bit of a challenge for you guys. We're going to do a four corner keystone challenge with your projector. So we use the Epson projector all the time, the Power Light series, and it has four corner, corner uh, adjustment, right? So I was trying to bend Q the other day and it has four corner adjustment too, but I realized that the bend Q is not nearly as powerful as the Epson. So it got me to thinking, well, what other projectors are out there with four corner keystone and you know, can we see, how can we measure this? So this is what we did. We set up this little test, a shootout basically. I have the Epson over here. They're both projectors are seven feet away from the wall and you can kind of see the distance here, right? So seven feet away. And what I did is I measure here, measure uh, your blue box and get your measurements and then do all your corner keystone in and see where your measurements end up there. And uh, that way we can see how powerful these corner keystones are. Um, also, as you can see here, um, I want to show you <laughs> the Epson. This, they're both about 4,000 lumens. The BenQ is 4,000 lumens. The Epson is 4,200 lumens. And as you can see, the blue box is behind me. The Epson is still a little bit brighter, which it should be, but it's pretty noticeable compared to the 4,000. So I think that's also the difference between the LCD and the DLP. Uh, so if you're getting up there, um, we love the Epsons. Not only you'll see by the corner keystone how bright it is or how, how powerful it is, but also too, it's the, the LCD I think is brighter than the DLP. So anyways, I just want to kind of give you a little comparison here. But what I want you guys to do at your home or office is to put a projector seven feet away from the wall, measure the blue box when it's fully uh, out and then fully in with your corner keystone. All right, so that way we can kind of get a good uh, gauge here because even when you look at the specs on a projector, these don't really list, uh, they, they list it, but they don't tell you how powerful it is. And they're all kind of different. So let's find out which ones are good out there so we can all get really great projectors. One thing to note too is that I have the manual zoom, like the lens zoom, all the way in. So it's the tightest it can be. So that way we can kind of make it a little more uniform. Uh, as you can see here too, I have different sizes with the, the lenses. The Epson, and I'm going to show you this, when we come out here, the Epson, this is zoomed all the way out, or all the way in. If I go all the way out, that's the range of the zoom we get. So you can kind of see the flexibility of this one. So it is definitely more powerful. Uh, and when I come over here to the BenQ, you barely notice it, right? You barely notice it. So um, that's just one of the things I was looking at as when I was had them side by side, not all projectors are created equal. So, uh, but let's go, I'm gonna go and do some keystoning and then you see, you guys can see what I do. All right, let me find my remotes. There they are. <laughs> all right. So then we would measure this, you know, here, by here. All right, we're gonna start with the Epson first. I'm gonna go in, go down to quick corner, grab each corner, we're gonna drag it over and you can see already that it's gonna be pretty great here. Uh, it's pretty dramatic, I'd like to say. Okay, so that guy's all the way in now. All right, now we're gonna do the BenQ. And the reason why we're doing this, by the way, is that when you're doing um, a projector from across the room or at a 45 degree angle from the wall, or even when you're definitely doing a dance floor, you need the strongest four corner keystone possible. That's how you're gonna get images to look perfect. that's what I want you guys to do at home is to zoom it all the way in measure your blue box 
then take your four corner keystone, bring that all the way down, measure your blue box again. And then we'll just talk about the difference and come up with a math ratio. So. All right, well anyways, that's my challenge for you guys. Uh, let's, find, let's find some good projectors out there. Let's see what else is out there. All right, thanks so much. Jeremy with Karma Event Lighting. Good luck. Hey everybody, so one thing I forgot to show you was how my setup looked here. Um, I was starting to tear down and I realized I should show you how I set it up just so you can kind of get an idea of the, uh, the layout here. So like I said, I just have the, the BenQ was over here on the left and they're both seven feet away from the wall. As you can see, they line up here, and the Epson's on the right. There we go, they line up. Yeah, that's real technical. I did use a tape measure, so don't worry about that. Uh, ignored the messy room. But yeah, so we had the, just, you can put them on a table, I don't really care. The point is to keep the dimensions uniform, so we have the seven feet away from the wall. That's all we really need to do. But anyways, I just thought you guys might like to see the, the, the setup that I did. And this one was the Epson Powerlight. 1940W. Pan around. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm a famous DJ. I'm running uh, projectors without any cables plugged in. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, so that was just a little bit back there. So, all right, guys. Excited to see what you come up with. Bye.